Okay, now see this question. This is my own question. Uh, two identical capacitors are filled with identical dielectric material K equal to 3 as shown. Here you can see we have got two capacitors. Okay. Uh, both the capacitors have same total area A and the plate separation is D in both the cases and they are filled with dielectric but the dielectric is not filled in identical way. Here we have a dielectric fixed across the complete area of the capacitor but its width is d by 2 and here we have a dielectric which is occupying the complete width but it the area occupied is only half the remaining space is air okay the breakdown field of the dielectric material is half of that of air if the breakdown voltage in case a is v1 and that in case b is v2 then uh, which of the four options are correct okay so how do we solve such questions first of all i'll uh, give you a hint and you can try this yourself uh, you have to uh, apply the dielectric breakdown strength means what it's basically electric field okay so you have to uh, draw the breakdown electric field in both the cases you have to write down the breakdown electric field in both the cases and then compare in which case the voltage created because of the electric field will be more or less okay so uh, First of all, let's write down that the breakdown field of the dielectric is what is given uh, half of that of air, right? So this is E air by 2. Okay. So now here goes my second hint that you have to check in which case which material will reach the dielectric breakdown strength first. Okay. So for example, Let's take the case one. So here, if I have electric field E, then here I will have electric field roughly. Okay, assuming the dielectric constant of air to be one, then the electric field over here will be E by N. Actually, I should write E by K. And our question K is equal to three. So this is equal to E by three. Okay. So, uh, let's compare with the dielectric uh, breakdown strength now. So this material will break down at ED and this material will break down at EA. Okay. And we just learned that ED is half of EA. But we need to see, we just have two possibilities. Either air will break down first or dielectric will break down first. So let's assume that in case A, in case A, let's assume, let air break down first that means e will be equal to e air we are writing down okay e is equal to e air okay that is breakdown strength of air and then e by 3 will be what e air by 3 e by 3 will be here the field will be e by 3 and that will be e air by 3 so this is less than obviously ed correct because ed is what ea by 2 while well, the field created in the dielectric is Ea by 3 which is less than Ed. So obviously clearly the air is reaching the breakdown strength before the dielectric can reach the breakdown strength. Okay. So this assumption we have uh, is correct. Let the, uh, the air will break down first. Okay. So we have E equal to Ea. So the voltage across this can now be measured. Ea into D by 2 plus Ea by 3 into D by 2. So we obtain the voltage V1. So V1 will be Ea into D by 2 plus Ea by 3 into D by 2. So this is equal to this is equal to uh, 4 EAD by 6. That is 2 EAD by 3. Okay. Now, th so the, this is the breakdown voltage for the first capacitor. Now let's look at the second capacitor. So in this case, since the gap is same in both the materials, so here and here electric field should be same. Electric field should be now same in both the cases. E over here, E over here. Okay. Electric field is same. Now, obviously, the dielectric strength of the uh, uh, breakdown strength of the dielectric is smaller than the breakdown strength of uh, air. And since both the fields are equal, and since the dielectric is having smaller breakdown strength, so in this case, the dielectric will re reach the breakdown uh, field first. So now we have E equal to ED. So here E is equal to ED equal to two, uh, EA by 2. EA by 
टू सो क्लियरली इन एयर द फील्ड इज मच स्मॉलर दैन द ब्रेक डाउन स्ट्रेंथ वेल इन द डायलेक्ट्रिक द फील्ड हैज ऑलरेडी रीच द ब्रेक डाउन स्ट्रेंथ सो द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस हेयर विल बी वॉट ई इन टू डी सो ई डी इन टू डी सो फॉर सेकेंड केस वी कैन राइट डाउन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वी टू विल बी ई डी इन टू डी एंड ई डी इज वॉट ई ए बाई टू सो ई ए इन टू डी बाई टू सो नाउ दिस इज वी वन दिस इज वी टू एंड विच ऑफ दम इज स्मॉलर obviously uh, v2 v2 is less than v1 okay but yeah we need to check the exact value right so uh, v2 is equal to half e into d is what e into d will be 3 v1 by 2 3 v1 by 2 so this is 3 v1 by 4 so v2 is 0.75 v1 okay or conversely v1 equal to 1.33 v2 okay 